Hey everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampaCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome back to another video tutorial. Probably would have noticed that um, I was didn't post the last week. We had uh, company before Thanksgiving, and then Friday after Thanksgiving, we moved my daughter Katie and her fiance from Memphis to Atlanta. And so that took the whole weekend, and things just, uh, you know, got ahead of me. So I did not get anything posted or filmed for last week. Anyway, I apologize, but we are back on track today. So I have a great little uh, eight by eight sampler I wanna share with you. So let's get you flipped around. There we go. And, and get this down here. All right, a little bit high. Let's see if we can bring in just a little bit here. Okay, get ourselves situated. All right, I think we are ready to go. So today I want to use uh, the Peaceful Place bundle and uh, the Peaceful Place designer paper. I love this paper. My house is kind of a, a gray, I have gray walls, light gray walls, and then black accents. And, uh, and I have some red too, I love red, but I love black and white uh, Christmas decor. So we are going to start with this piece. I picked this one, Let, let's see, the back of it is this one, which I love, but it's a little busy and a little dark for the sampler. So the back side just has this nice little light gray diamond pattern. And then we're gonna use basic black for our mats, and I will post all the, um, it looks like a Minecraft uh, <laughs> square face there, but it won't after we're done. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna start with. And we need to add a sentiment. So I love this little, um, oh, I cut that the same size, didn't I? That's not right. Let's make sure we have these cut correctly before we get started. These should be two and three quarter by two and three quarter, and they're not. They're two and a half by two and a half. Okay, this one's right. This one's right. These two are not right. Hold on one second. Let me get a couple pieces. Sometimes you plan things and they just don't go according to what you think it's going to go. So, let's see if I have some scrap here. I have a couple pieces of black scrap paper, so we'll just get out our handy dandy paper trimmer. Let's get away those and cut these down. They need to be two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. And let's do this one. Two and three quarters. This is why I keep my, my scraps because sometimes that's all you need is a little scrap to get you where you need to be instead of having to cut a whole brand new sheet. Okay, now I think we're ready. Okay, let's try this again, <laughs> two and three quarters. These are two and a half by two and a half. I'm gonna set those aside and I'm gonna glue this on. I like this little plaid pattern. It's got snowflakes on the back, which I'm gonna use on my other square. So I'm really just using two of the papers today. And then I've cut out a white circle and then a little black scallop circle from the circle layering circles dies. And we are going to stamp this sentiment. It says, enjoy the peace of this beautiful season. I like this because um, I can keep it up after Christmas because it's black and white. It's not, whoops, I got a little bit to the left. Let's see if we can center that a little better. Maybe if I have it on here, I can see. See where my white is, oh, that's better. Okay, we're gonna glue it onto our circle. Um, 
that's one advantage if you if you put more generic um, sentiments you can keep it up a little longer because it's black and white so it can go through January too. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of ribbon. I'm gonna pull out one of my favorites. Got some of this black glittered organdy ribbon. And we're gonna just tape this around. It, whoops, it's got sparkle. And then it's got a nice contrast. You could use the white glittered organdy ribbon too, but it doesn't really add much color or statement. It's kind of, um, you can kind of, you see through it, which is nice, but I didn't want to do that on this project. So we're going with black. All right, let's just center our sentiment right on here. With your sampler, you always have, want to have at least one sentiment. Sometimes you can put a whole bunch, depending on, on what you're doing. Okay, let's do this one next. So I said I was going to use the other side of that plaid, which is the snowflake, and it has white and silver foil, little silver foil um, snowflakes on here, little teeny ones. All right, I'm gonna glue that down. And then I die cut this big white snowflake from the gingerbread dies. This is my favorite, my favorite one out of the gingerbread dies is the snowflake. It's just so pretty and it's the perfect size for this project. Uh, let's see. All right, we're gonna dress that up with just a little bit of this silver metallic twine. This is in the annual catalog and it comes in a pack with some silver and gold. All right, these are not my, my ribbon scissors. Well, why can't I just grab the end of that and cut it? I don't know. All right. Now we can attach this a couple of ways. I'm just pulling it until I get it just the right size. I'm going to uh, use a glue dot, I think. Let's see, I have some, I usually keep a pack of these. These are extra from um, Paper Pumpkin. So I always have uh, some of these right next to my desk. I'm gonna stick this on the back of my bow because it's gonna be a little bigger than I need it to be and I can kind of roll it back on itself. So it's just behind the ribbon. We're gonna put that right there. Cute! Love it. Okay, so now this is our main focal piece. So I have a piece of this now this is the same as this so when i cut this down to eight by eight i just took a piece um, from the extra and i'm using this but i made sure that it didn't have any of the trees on it i just wanted this lighter sky color with the little silver snowflakes so we're going to use this all right putting this dark down at the bottom because that is going to be covered now I have a piece of basic white. This is the same size as that designer paper. It's two and a half by five and a half. And we are going to stamp the cabin. So this is the stamp set, Peaceful Cabin. I'm gonna use this cabin. It also has uh, dies for the cabin, but uh, I really like this cabin. Make sure it's pretty big, so I make sure I get it all covered. And I'm gonna stamp it kind of on the left, right about there. Perfect. All right, so we're going to die cut this. And we have, let me see, we have, this is the cabin die, if you just wanna cut that out. We're not gonna use that though. And we have an outline, which will cut out both this and this. So we're gonna use it on here. 
And I've used this many times. But what I would suggest, because it is kind of long and it has this long thin piece right here, when you get it in place, and I make sure my little, it's going to cut a little window out of here, out of my porch. I use a post-it right here to kind of hold it in place, even on a magnetic platform, because it, it will tend to shift. You can see it's not flat because I've used it several times. So we're going to run this through the Big Shot or your die cutting machine. I got used to saying that. And it's going to come out like this. Okay, so it cuts my little hill, cuts windows out of like my, my porch beams. Love it. All right, I'm going to glue the cabin part down first. I'm not going to put glue back here yet. And I'll tell you why in just a sec. See, and now we have that pretty sky behind it, like it's sitting at the top of a hill. So in the die set, there are also some funky little fun Christmas trees, which I have cut out of some of the silver foil in the silver foil pack. But I want to put some of them behind my hill. This is what the trees look like. So it kind of gives you a little bit of texture there from those holes, and then it cuts the tree out. So it's three sizes. So I'm gonna take the big one, and I'm gonna glue it down behind my hill. It's pretty tall, so some of that's gonna be covered. I'm gonna put that one right there. Then I'm going to take the, which one is this? The medium one. I'm going to put this one over to the left, glue that behind the hill. All right, now we can finish gluing this down. It doesn't need a lot of glue. We'll just put a, a little bit there to hold that in place. And then we have our last little tree. So I'm going to flip this over and we're going to put a dimensional, a couple dimensionals. I'm not sure even with the minis, I don't want it to show through. I think we can put one there. Let's see if they'll show through or not. This is a skinny little tree. Okay. Okay, they don't show through, so two should be enough. I wanna put this down onto the, over the snow bank. Now this is gonna be behind glass, so it's not, too big of a deal right there. And that is it for that panel. Isn't that pretty? So easy. All right, now we're going to put this down. So I've made just kind of a frame with, it's one by eight by, uh, it's a one and an eighth by eight inches. So we're just going to make sure it's lined up perfectly on the edges. And then we'll glue this down using that as a guide. I like the Tombow too because it gives me just a minute to kind of scooch it around if I need to. All right. Then we're gonna rotate it and do this corner next. Uh, I think we're doing the snowflake up in this corner. And make sure our paper, our guide is lined up at the edge of our paper. All right, and last corner. So it should be, in theory, lined up with, <laughs> with this one. And then let's get this right on the edge with that and that. And put our sentiment set in there, our sentiment square. See how that looks. Oh, that looks pretty good. All right. 
And that's it. I mean, how quick was that sampler? I'm going to take this out so you can get the full effect on this nice wood background. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? So simple. It could last all for the month of December and January because it's not Christmas specific. Um, maybe next week we'll do a fun little Christmas one. But um, I hope you enjoyed today. Um, make sure to check my blog. Link is below for measurements uh and instructions and a supply list. And then there's also a link below with a host code if you want to make a purchase online during December, and I will send you a free gift in the mail. All right, thanks everybody for stopping by, and I will see you next time.